We have Karim and his family here, and they're originally from Antigua, and so I really would love to know what tropical fruits were really important to you when uh, from Antigua. Yep. Uh, sugar apple was my favorite because uh, I raised up being able to just go pick it. I have my, my, my mother's uh, family had a bunch of sugar apple farm like on like a hill. Okay. So sugar apple was my favorite, and my dad has a mango grove. So mangoes, uh, the variety is a little bit different. They call them different names. Yeah, what, what uh, names do they call them? Uh, like the lemon meringue, I believe they call kidney mango. Oh, really? And the dot mango, they call like a black mango. Uh, Julie mango is the same type. Uh -huh. um, Kent, I believe they call Dominican kidney, Dominican kidney. Uh, okay. <laughs> so they have a bunch of different names. Uh -huh. And my dad, my dad and my mom, they know most of the the island names. Uh, so uh, sugar apple, do they call it sugar apple or do they call it sweet they sauce? They call it, they call it sugar apple and in, and in Jamaica they call it sweet Yeah, sauce. I didn't yeah. know if, if, that, yeah, if that, <laughs> that name just crept yeah. down the but islands I, or I not. Us, <laughs> they're not familiar with, as soon as you say a known as Formosa, oh, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> they don't know what that is. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, we raised up with a lot of nani, um, uh, red sugar apple, uh, custard apple. Mm -hmm. Custard apple, but that was very rare. There would be one or two people that would have those type of varieties. In there. So, uh, were there fruits available in markets and such that you didn't grow? Uh, no. Pretty much everybody pretty much, grew what they much wanted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, cool. They, they hard. It, it wasn't a lot of imports. Uh huh. Yeah. The uh, the um, the national fruit is black pineapple. Um, but they don't have much of that. <laughs> they have a lot of mangoes. That should be the, the national fruit, I believe. Yeah. It's a lot they have of to take mangoes. another vote. It yeah. was, <laughs> yeah. That's old news. Yeah. I know. That may have been the, the, the early stage, but now they need a, I think mangoes are, should be a good one. <laughs> yeah, excellent. And maybe the kidney mango. Uh, I think it is lemon meringue. So I bought some so he could, he could taste them to uh -huh. see, because we're still trying to figure out what the, it has a little bit of fiber, but it's on the seed. So, so I, I don't think it would be the lemon meringue because that mm -hmm. only came in fairly recently to the U.S. Okay, directly so maybe, from Burma. Maybe it just uh, looks like it. Yeah. It might be a different variety. Yeah. yeah. But I think yeah. you'll like it. Yeah. Uh, yep. And then second question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you live in Kissimmee now. Yes. And you're growing a lot of things that are important to you. What, are, you know, what do you very, grow? Very, 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 very small space. It's actually smaller space than the uh, guy from Jamaica that I saw on your show. Constantine? Constantine, yeah. yes. Way smaller than his. And I think I have three times the amount of fruits. All right. But I, I tend to, I love it, so I prune my trees a lot. Mm -hmm. I have uh, three or four different types of guava, cherry of the Rio Grande, carambola, uh, uh, Thai guava. I have uh, dragon fruit in that area. I have red banana in, in the same little small area. Uh -huh. I have Jabba Takaba. I have loquat, kumquat, uh, Suriname cherry, uh, Barbados cherry. Um, and we're in a subdevelopment where I can't have fruit trees in my front yard. Uh -huh. so, so you're I, packed in the back. <laughs> I got that strategy. I'm packing everything in the back, everything that I, you know, for me it's like uh, I'd rather to try it and 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 maybe be successful because I, mm. I i give my trees it's all organic so they get a lot of seaweed extract um a lot of fish emulsion and stuff like that so i i think with, with proper care and pruning i'll uh -huh. be able to maintain it uh -huh. it's just whether or not he'll be able to maintain it long term yeah. Well, I mean, it sounds like it. you're, yeah, everybody in the family is getting lots of vitamins and yes, stuff. Yeah. All that fresh <laughs> yeah. fruit. Yeah. Yeah. And then with, with the knowledge Maringa, that yeah. I've uh, gathered from watching you uh, top prune, like something like this yeah. to what it is now, uh -huh. I could definitely could maintain a, a carry mango <laughs> <laughs> and a julie mango yeah. and, and, uh, yeah. and a guava and stuff like that. I think I should. Because yeah, they're not these big varieties. Yeah, and there's so many people that that are keeping fruit trees that you know normally grow pretty tall at mm -hmm. like six feet. At you know, height, just yeah. a matter of trimming it trimming, at the yeah, right time true. and yeah. often. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, so yeah. long term you could, yeah, you could <laughs> you know, your grandchildren could be. Yes, that, that's right? what that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. You know? All right. when, when you could uh, 
I think somebody said the best uh, time to plant a tree was 25 years ago. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm starting now. So he won't have to say that, you know? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yep, yep, you have it 25 years later. So um, why did you move to Kissimmee? Uh, I came down here, I went to Rollins uh, High School, I mean Rollins, Rollins College, yeah, yeah. Um, and I uh, met my uh, beautiful wife, and just uh, <laughs> moving from New Jersey, we're able to come on in, <laughs> she's a veteran, and we're just able to, to plan a lot. My dad also, he lives in New Jersey and he has uh, several fruit trees, uh -huh. uh, and he plants all his perennial vegetables, and he's very active with that, so for me, doing it all year round and then raising my family uh, in this environment similar to where I was raised up uh, was just a no-brainer <laughs> I had to do it couldn't say in New Jersey at least at least for my family I didn't want that for them. I wanted them to be taste, taste the fruit taste all the fruit, year round yeah, year yeah. round and, yeah. and live that that to me is the healthy most healthy life and, Definitely trying to live out there. And I want that for my parents as well. My dad is just a little bit iffy with leaving his uh, my sister. Yeah. She's still in college, but she'll be gone in a year and he'll have no choice because he's all <laughs> organic. <laughs> so, he knows doesn't know here. it yet, no. but he has no choice. He has no choice. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. He has no choice at all. <laughs> you know? yeah. After you after you after he's uh past fifty-five, uh, I think I take over from him. <laughs> Excellent. Well, yeah, thanks very much. For thank you, thank you, to, to making the trip. Oh, oh, we oh man, and we will be back. To. We'll be back uh, for some sugar oh, apple. We'll oh, be back as as, as, as much as possible now. Yeah, it's not that's very not far. Good. It's just the first getting the first trip out of the way.